Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back to the witness. Let us continue. We're going to need all the time we can get. So, we are in this puzzle that is rather annoying. We have a blue solution when we select this, and it, it puts on a blue light, and it tells us that when the blue light's on, these are all the, the same. But then when we go and do the next light that puts on this light, it tells us that these are all the same again, which we know is not true. And then when we come over here and do this it tells us these are all the same which we know is not true so we know this section here is unique we know this section potentially might match this section and I'm not sure about that section. Hmm. Now the question we need to ask ourselves is how can we block things off here? I think I'm going to have to do it a different way. Uh, that. There we go. This. And then this. Hmm. So I'm missing something. I actually do this puzzle right. We know all three of the colors here. See, all of those could be the same, but it, there's no way I could get those to match. And I don't think we need to group them together. I think we just need to keep them all separate. So this was white before, and now it's, like, if we go backwards, that lower right section was all white. See? And now it's black. So we know anything that flickers back and forth between white and black is its own unique thing. Well... Yeah. So those are separate colors. Let's put the blue in here. Hmm. So, we know this is unique. And we know this is unique, and there's no way to get that otherwise. And let's see. Like this here. And then how do we cut this off? Again. No, we don't. Maybe I'm just not solving this puzzle right. That could be it. It's definitely a possibility. Keep that away. Let's try this. 
this. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, I wish the combinations would stay. What am I missing? Like, there's no way you could get these two together. No way. And putting these together wouldn't make any sense. Not really. Ah, oh, right here is an issue. I see it. I see it. I see it. We go down this way, up this way, this way, this way. We go this way, this way, this way. That's not going to work. Mm -hmm. Crush here. This. This. I don't think these are should be shared. And then this and then this. Got it. Great. Only one more puzzle that looks like it needs to be solved. Alright. So this is another nightmare because with the different colors we will have trouble pairing. So let's start with the lower right. We see all black on green. When we do it this way on blue we still see all black and when we I solve this puzzle. This way, this way. There we go. And we have this. Hmm. Alright. So the ones that are flickering are I is the lower right. Let's try this again. This is gonna be a lot of going back and forth. Like all of those over there flicker inversely. Let's see. Hmm. And all of those flicker. Inversely, hmm. Hmm. so oddly, it feels as though like all of these would work. How is this gonna work though? How? How, how, how? Interesting. It's not just a 
it's not just a simple solution. Some of these have to be the same color. <laughs> like, we know this is the same color. And I guess if I expose two of everything, maybe that would work? Um, how are we going to move through the ranks here and do this? Let's see. I have to do this. Why? This is the right solution right there. And then I can not go across the middle at all. So, and I have to expose this. And then it almost feels like I need to do this, but how does this work? How can I get that to work? I don't think I can. So let's instead well this diagonal issues can't cut across like that I can't divide it how do I get this square right here to match up with like that square Let's see. There's no way this fits. There's no way this works. No way whatsoever. Yeah, that doesn't work. These colors are this color. I know it is. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure. I could be totally wrong. And... So doesn't that mean something along this line maybe hmm. uh, let's see Blue is pointless here. They either have blue in them or they don't. So I don't need to deal with blue. Interesting. If only this was the real solution. Right. Green. Oh, I think I see the problem I've been having. We've been isolating this one, which was white, and this one, which was white, and let's see, how 
how can we do this? <sighs> this here. So this 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 hmm. I think those are different colors pretty sure those are different colors So this one and that one are different. And that one, so this one's different, this one's different, this one's different, and this one's different. This can't be the right solution. That wouldn't be balanced. Hmm. And that's not right either, I don't think. No. This one, this one, these could all be probably, these are the same. We're trying to separate things. Yeah, this is this is not not ideally what I would want. Anyway, does does this fix? If we go here and keep all those together, are those a match? They can't be a match. Something else needs to happen here. We need to include this and if we include that then that's not going to work and that's not going to work what's different These are both different. 
So all three of these are fine. This is fine. Maybe those two match, maybe they don't. Then... I think this matches, but... Oh, this just doesn't make sense. It's the filtration that's just killing me on this color scheme. What happens if all three of these were on? Darn it. So there was only a way to have all three of these on at the same time. Everything here has blue in it. So what we know is that these and these, well, anything from the top cannot match with this. Anything from this cannot match with that. Alright. Actually, that helps quite a bit. Here, I was thinking that wouldn't, wasn't going to be useful. So, nothing here matches with that, and nothing here matches with that. We know it doesn't. We just proved that. This is a difficult, difficult one. So whatever these three are, one of these has to be uh, allowed to connect with this. And we know three of these have green and probably blue in them. So I could do something like that. That would be a mistake. Almost certainly I need to do this to eliminate that. And if I brought this in with us, and one of these in with us, that probably would work here if we did something like this. Is there a different way I could bring about that solution? drop these two because they probably match. Take these two because there's a decent chance that these match. Uh, we know this one and these two won't match anything. So if we take this such as that. No, that that's a little risky. And then I believe this is 
the next one. Those two and those two. There's something something messed up here. Though so I've done something wrong. I have like three black ones right here. When I shouldn't. I should have this. And we know these are cool with these. And these are cool with these. And then... Oh, come on. Come on. I am... I am... <laughs> back to cheating. Back to cheating. I've given it... Let's see. Table of contents. Here we are. Stare at the puzzle as you go and still work in progress that's why it doesn't have the uh, that's why it doesn't have the thing I'm looking for well I'm gonna have to look this up later am I not Yep. Hmm. We'll see. Come on. Last chance. Last chance. Here we go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I should just have paused this. I I've hit so many so many things I we could be here forever. I my mind is melted into into goo. And I cannot figure out the solution. And I don't know why I'm really looking for What's interesting, ooh, is they all have red in them. So. Well, no. Alright. There's no walkthroughs online because I'm playing this game too, too early. We'll, we'll leave that puzzle on. I'm sure you're screaming at me. Oh, this is not not a great way to even begin the thought of going to the tower. I mean, to the end either, because I'm sitting here trying this puzzle over and over again. Although I think that's pretty fair example of what this game is gonna be at this level. Hmm. 
wandering around here trying to make sure I've seen everything. Let's see if there's any sections we haven't done. Let's see. If we go this way over here. This is the grassy area that over there and over here have we been over here yes I think I've done as much as I can do at this level the obelisk here. We can hear the audio of the waterfall. Yeah, we have a little audio cues. There's when you're walking on different things, that gives you audio, audio cues, I suppose. So, so in a different way. Is there only one way up the mountain? Like, this way heads back down the mountain. And it's like, yeah. So when I first started recording this series, I said I'd spoiled myself on some of the solutions, and I am. That is undeniably true. But I obviously didn't spoil myself enough on the solutions, because some of these puzzles still are royally kicking my butt. Uh, the sound puzzles didn't... I'm not too upset I cheated on them. I mean, I'm probably a little upset with myself. I tried to cheat on the filter puzzles. Because I know what the thing is. I just... I'm going to have to write it down. I'm going to have to write it down and... Let's see. Can I get the elevator to come up this, this way? No. So, yeah, I'm going to have to write down the solution and then I think the same might be true for another one of the puzzles. Let's see. Where does this head? Uh, because there is two puzzles, yeah. I know of. This goes here and there's a gate. this. So we never got that gate open. Interesting. So there's more to do. How can we open the gate? Where is the gate? Come on, where'd the gate go? Hmm. I swear we just saw a gate. It's down here and right here. And to reach it would require being where? It's like way over there. Hmm. 
Well, geez, how do I get over there? That's way over there, and it have to be. strange. Unless there's a way to climb up this mountain and get on top of the mountain. Like here. Getting closer to that section. But no, that doesn't look like we can reach it. Hmm. Oh well. Maybe later. Maybe we will learn something later that will help with that. So we went all the way around the mountain that time. Now we go up it. Finally, after hours and hours of playing the witness, it is time to begin the process of defeating the first half. We are at 372, which puts us over the halfway part point. Two walkways here, let's see. We'll take the one on the right. We're getting a nice little picture of the island. Let's see. Is that a gold box right there that means I missed one of the laser beams? I don't know. It looks like I may have. I may have missed an entire section. Um. As we've looked down this way. Are there any other sections we may have missed? I don't think that is a laser, but it might be. I don't think we missed any sections. Every map I've seen, every indication seems to hide that. But we definitely have missed stuff. We know there are six videos. And of the six videos, we have only found the code for two of them. Very low polygon rocks. 
perhaps intentionally animated that way but probably I mean well yes intentionally animated that way but perhaps there is more of a reason to it besides their artistic style decisions hmm is there one at the castle way over there where we started that would be interesting and nice but I don't think so well, if there is one it's hidden really well what's this is that just a path well we're at the top <laughs> just kind of walked into it didn't I so here we have a uh, person taking measurements up there you go around every hour and a half, time after time after time. You wake up usually in the mornings, and just the way that the track of your orbits go, you wake up over the Mideast, over North Africa. As you eat breakfast, you look out the window as you're going past, and there's the Mediterranean area, and Greece, and Rome, and North Africa, and the Sinai, the whole area. And you realize that in one glance, that what you're seeing is what was the whole history of a man for years, the cradle of civilization. And you go around down across North Africa and out over the Indian Ocean and look up at that great subcontinent of India pointed down toward you as you go past it. And Ceylon off to the side, Burma, Southeast Asia, out over the Philippines, and up across that monstrous Pacific Ocean. Vast body of water. You've never realized how big that is before. And you finally come up across the coast of California, and look for those friendly things. Los Angeles, and Phoenix, and on across El Paso. And there's Houston. There's home. And you look, and sure enough, there's the Astrodome. And you identify with that, you know? It's an attachment. And down across New Orleans, and then looking down to the south, and there's the whole peninsula of Florida laid out. And all the hundreds of hours you spent flying across that route, down in the atmosphere, all that is friendly again. And you go out across the Atlantic Ocean and back across Africa. And you do it again, and again, and again. And that identity, that you identify with Houston, and then you identify with Los Angeles, and Phoenix, and New Orleans, and everything. And the next thing you recognize in yourself is you're identifying with North Africa. You look forward to that. You anticipate it. And there it is. That whole process begins to shift of what it is you identify with. When you go around it in an hour and a half, you begin to recognize that your identity is with that whole thing. And that makes a change. You look down there, and you can't imagine how many borders and boundaries you crossed again and again and again. And you don't even see them. At that wake-up scene, the Mideast, you know there are hundreds of people killing each other over some imaginary line that you can't see. From where you see it, the thing is a whole. And it's so beautiful. And you wish you could take one from each side in hand and say, look at it from this perspective. Look at that. What's important? And so a little later on, your friend, again those same neighbors, another astronaut, the person next to you goes out to the moon. And now he looks back and sees the Earth, not as something big where he can see the beautiful details, but he sees the Earth as a small thing out there. And now that contrast between that bright blue and white Christmas tree ornament and that black sky, that infinite universe, really comes through. The size of it, the significance of it, it becomes both things. It becomes so small and so fragile and such a precious little spot in that universe that you can block it out with your thumb. And you realize that on that small spot, that little blue and white thing is everything that means anything to you. 
all of history and music and poetry and art and war and death and birth and love, tears, joy, games, all of it is on that little spot out there that you can cover with your thumb. And you realize that that perspective, that you've changed, that there's something new there, that relationship is no longer what it was. And then you look back on the time when you were outside on that EVA and those few moments that you had the time because the camera malfunctioned, that you had the time to think about what was happening. And you recall staring out there at the spectacle that went before your eyes. Because now you're no longer inside something with a window looking out at a picture, but now you're out there and what you've got around your head is a goldfish bowl and there are no limits here. There are no frames. There are no boundaries. You're really out there, over it, floating, going 25,000 miles per hour, ripping through space, a vacuum, and there's not a sound. There's a silence, the depth of which you've never experienced before. And that silence contrasts so markedly with the scenery and the speed with which you know you're going. That contrast, the mix of those two things, really comes through and you think about what you're experiencing and why do you deserve this this fantastic experience have you earned this in some way are you separated out to be touched by God to have some special experience here that other men cannot have you know the answer to that is no there's nothing that you've done that deserves that that earned that it's not a special thing for you. You know very well at that moment, and it comes through to you so powerfully that you're the sensing element for man. You look down and see the surface of that globe that you've lived on all this time, and you know all those people down there. They are like you. They are you. And somehow you represent them when you are up there. A sensing element, that point out on the end and that's a humbling feeling. It's a feeling that says you have a responsibility. It's not for yourself. The eye that doesn't see does not do justice to the body. That's why it's there. That's why you're out there. And somehow you recognize that you're a piece of this total life. You're out on that forefront and you have to bring that back somehow. And that becomes a rather special responsibility. It tells you something about your relationship with this thing we call life. And when you come back, there's a difference in that world now. There's a difference in that relationship between you and that planet, and you and all those other forms of life on that planet, because you've had that kind of experience. It's a difference, and it's so precious. And all through this, I've used the word you because it's not me. It's not Dave Scott. It's not Dick Gordon, Pete Conrad, John Glenn. It's you. It's us. It's we. It's life. It's had that experience. And it's not just my problem to integrate. It's not my challenge to integrate, my joy to integrate. It's yours. It's everybody's. Russell Schweikart, 1975. Okay, so that was incredibly long. And that's supposed to be the big build up. Here we are at the tower. It kind of looks like a vault uh, from Borderlands. But trust me, there are no monsters going to jump out. I'm pretty sure. Here's a guy that's pounding on this archway. Take a moment to notice that these guys have computers and scraping tools, and there's a bunch of rocks here. And this is the only, like, round things we see. Everything else is kind of hexagonal. Uh, like I've said, low polygon. But then they've made an effort to make this round. Here's somebody's climbing up the edge. Here is, like, a president or leader. They, here's an excavator, surveyor. Here's another guy with a scraper in... Uh, that here's a woman and a man arguing the man looks like he's about to fall off uh, 
it almost looks like she smacked his hand away and he stepped back and almost fell off. Uh, you might think that this is the lady reading some of this and this is the guy reading some of the messages. I don't know. It seems like they were, are starting to build some in enclosure here. But, and then you've got these two carrier guys in the middle. And over here were latches that you needed one, two, three, four, five, six to be powered by that, by the lasers, before you could do this. And it brings the puzzle to begin to end. But before we do this, this is the official beginning of the end. So you have this puzzle here. And notice it is weird. These little uh, bits in it, a little bit of everything. And that doesn't say solved. Now look to the left. Yes, the, it's the exact same thing as the river. So now, I've done this a couple times and spoiled, but now we're going to officially, we'll look, 374 puzzles solved, begin to start solving the extra puzzles here. And see that bounced right there to the obelisk, which is now lit up a little bit. Maybe that will dissipate, maybe it won't. And so, there's our guidance. From now on, when we see anything that starts with a circle and ends, we're going to solve it. So if I look up here, there's another one right here. You just gotta, again, adjust your perception. It's impossible to miss that one. It's pretty easy to miss this one. And that goes right to the same obelisk. Anytime we see that from now on, we, we do the solutions. Are there any more I can see from this point? Uh, I'm having a hard time believing that there will be, but there are tons everywhere. If we look at the clouds, they could be the orientation of the clouds, easily. Like, this whole line right here could be a section, uh, but if it is, it's going to very see that one dark cloud is probably one down this way is there one nope 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 and all you have to do is try and click on something and if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't can't click on the laser and draw a line from that or anything like that now and it fizzles out I believe we'll come right here and make sure. Nope. If you solve it a second time, you'll do that. I must have walked off the edge somehow. Maybe the game moved me. So now it is 374 plus 2. So those aren't puzzles according to the counting they are plus things. So I don't know how many plus things there are. If they add to the 700 number he has been talking about or not. So, like I said, I've been spoiled. I know what we're supposed to do here. It's kind of obvious. Anyways, I'm supposed to solve this puzzle three ways to open this latch. But it's a perception puzzle, and we have to follow the basic keep black and white uh, ones a lot separate so how we are going to go about doing that is kind of difficult let's see we can not get back there I get back there so The 
This may take a few adjustments. This here, this here, this here. That keeps that alone. Here we go. Now, the problem here is just am I going to remember the solutions to things? Let's see that and then that and that that worked so you don't have to group black and white at least so next solution, we need to, let's see if we start here, can we come down this way, and, let's see, keep this here, and then keep that separate. then keep that maybe maybe I can adjust here a little bit and do this one keep that away keep that away keep that away This is the solution. Keep up here. And no, that won't work. I would have to get very high for that to work. It has to be through the legs. Let's see. I think. That one keeps almost everything separate except for this.
see. If I put this here. I think that's, that was gonna work. I could do this. And then, maybe with a little bit more work, do that. and we'll solve that puzzle again. That almost works. Let's try this. Here. squeeze through hmm. so down there are more puzzles quite a few more puzzles so we're not out of the woods yet or anything like that I don't think either one of those would work here. This might work if I took this a little bit over here and ran this and then ran this. If I can get the right angle there. Hmm. It's pretty tight. What if I could see the solution in between his legs? would have to do the puzzle this far apart. That doesn't seem realistic. See, if I could block this off just a little bit here. Or block this one off a little bit. try this. Start here. Ignore that. I'd have to get right here. What the? Down this way. Ignore this way. A little bit more. Down this way. 
up this way. I have it. There we go. And that's what happens when you're standing on something that moves. Next one. We have to end here. And how can we do that? We went about this way and had that. That's not going to work. If I could grab this, pull this all the way down, kind of cheating here, but it seems like it was willing to let me try that. that all the way this way seems like it's willing to help me out here if I can just get to that come on I need the I need the final piece Maybe I can do it from this angle. No. Like. Couldn't be done on this. It has to start right here, come down to this level. could start here and go down this level. Go this way. That's all fun and dandy. It's just I've got to get that last bit in it. Clears out that section. And let's see. Is there anything I can do to block off that? Maybe. If we go this way, up here. Nah. It's got to start right here. And then that can block off this. Fine. And I can block off this. Fine. Why can't I just smash the statues? Let's just be a little violent here. 
me just smash these statues. Is there something... Is there a different angle here that would work better? Like... Do I have any way I could... From this angle... I mean, we could start here... Do this... Try to go... To this... And then do this. Let's see. Start here, go here, up, gonna hit that, gonna hit that. Nope. Start here. Go here. Gonna hit that, gonna hit that, gonna hit that. That fixes that problem. Unless it was something like this, I'm closing off that exit as soon as I do that. So the only real solution is something like this. So that can't be the right answer. Can I zigzag? Maybe I can. No, that foot is always going to be in the way. Maybe I can zigzag this way. It seems like when you're close to the right perspective, you might might give you a little bit of help. Come on, the solution, I know what the solutions are, I guess I don't, I guess that's a disingenuous statement. I have a general concept of what the solutions are. But, I suppose in actuality, 
No, I don't. Clearly understand or no. That cannot be the solution. Just can't be. It could be the solution to that, which that's ever so helpful not in any way whatsoever. Mm. Yeah, so that's going to be it for this recording with 375. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. I know we're in for the long haul now. I will let you know that uh, I scheduled for this game to go long, so don't worry, you're not missing out any other shows or anything like that. We're going to go all the way here, or until I get super frustrated and give up. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.